Welcome everyone to another edition of Easy Projects Tutorial. In a previous tutorial, we introduced you to our newest feature, Workflows. It allows project managers across different business units within an organization to create and manage their own unique statuses as a project advances through the different stages of its life cycle. In this tutorial, we'll be focusing on those very workflows that you have set up through the Kanban board view. Before we get to the Kanban board view, let's take a look at a project that's currently available through the Activity Center in the table view. So for this exercise, we've got a project created called Workflow Demo. I'm going to select the details of this project. And this is where we assign our workflow. In this particular instance, I've assigned the graphic design workflow among the different selections of workflows that are available. Once that selection has been made, all of the statuses at the project level will follow through using that specific workflow. And the same would apply for any of the tasks or activities that are below it. Let's now transition over to the board view. When you transition over to the Kanban board view, you will see that Easy Projects has automatically detected which workflow this specific project applies to. In this particular instance, it applies to the graphic design workflow. In the case where two or more projects are selected and the selected workflow is not compatible with one of the projects, no activities of the former project, in this case, workflow demo, will be visible on the board. As you see, we only see the activities that apply to the home building project. This is where you will see the warning sign that says some statuses are hidden. By clicking on the info sign, you will be able to hover your mouse and see specifically which project is affected. In this particular case, it's the workflow demo project that is affected. You can also use the filter option to select those projects that are part of the graphic design workflow. Once you've made that selection, you can go ahead and create a save view and save that selection as your graphic design workflow selection. Once that selection is saved, it'll now be available to you in the save views and you can select this each time you need to review and view any of the tasks or activities uh, for the specific projects that follow the graphic design workflow. We have also made changes within the statuses filter. Here you have all of the different workflows that are grouped and for the activity, if we just wanted to look at a specific status and wanted to see all of those activities that are currently in pre-design by making that selection, we now have those results down here below. And lastly, a pro tip to share with you is Easy Projects offers different levels of customization. If you prefer working in the Kanban board view and you don't want to see all the different statuses across that specific workflow, in this case graphic design, you always have the option to hide a specific column and simply click on the ellipsis icon and hide. If you wish to bring that back, you can click on the plus sign again, select closed, and that column reappears and positions itself in the order in which it is set up in the workflow itself. And by that, I mean the company settings, workflow, graphic design, currently closed is second from the bottom, and that's the exact same order it'll follow. If you wish to change any of these, you can always use these uh, prongs to navigate between the different positions and reorder. That same ordering format will follow in the Kanban board view. We hope you will enjoy this new feature and leverage workflows within your organizations. And as always, please send in your suggestions to success at easyprojects.net and look forward to the next new feature on its way. Thank you and have a great day.